Hello everyone. Am I audible? Okay, uh, can we start or not? Okay, inform all to join as soon as possible. We don't have much time. So, uh, in the last class, we have discussed uh, about different techniques that can be adopted for real water sanitation okay and it's that particular techniques basically dealing with that uh, waste management the night soil management specifically okay so this class also is related to related to the last class only okay
so yeah so let me share my screen first okay so so we are discussing about night soil management disposal of night soil and its management right so under this we have discussed about different techniques which include uh, trans privy or trans or shallow latrine pit privy dugwell privy bore hole then can privy concrete vault privy and along with that there are other uh, privy like aqua privy chemical toilet and pore flush water seal latrine okay so uh, let me give you some just a uh, summary of that the thing that we have already left okay so let's discuss about these things are already discussed about right we have already discussed about um, trans latrine or trans privy basically it is uh, used by in previous time even he now also can be used in rural areas then pit latrine or pit privy are also known as dugwell privy okay this is a diagram for pit privy then we have discussed about borehole privy which is similar similar to pit privy but what is the difference the area used for that consumption or disposal you can say uh, they are different okay the depth of the borehole privy is more comparatively higher than pit privy but other operations are similar even though after completion or after filling up the bore hole or after filling up the pit that particular superstructure must be shifted to another place so that uh, they can go for a new pit for pit privy or for borehole privy okay and the waste which are previously filled the pit that can be used for uh, fertilizer can be used as a fertilizer okay after some month that can be collected and can be used for fertilizing okay and regarding that we are also going to discuss about in depth in next module like composting landfill all, all these things will come under uh, value added on such sanitation fine so yeah next can preview that can also uh, can be adopted and it's frequently adopted in rural areas which where uh, that waste or night soil can be collected in a particular iron can and it can be replaceable okay it's kind of container okay which is fixed just below the um you can say the output okay okay so here you can see it is a seat okay and below the seat there is a pile or you can say your can which is replaceable after filling up the can it can be replaced so we also discuss about concrete vault privy from the name itself it is understandable that there is a vault uh, which is made of concrete which is uh, constructed below the ground and this vault is used to store the sewage uh, waste or you can say night soil and the lifeline of this vault is like six months near about approximately six months and after six months it will may filled up and it can be uh, collected from uh, this manhole okay so this manhole is uh, is also provided nearby this site of this concrete vault so that it can maintain this work can be done okay okay somebody is waiting or what wait Wait a minute. Okay. So it, so it is it is about concrete vault preview. Okay. 
So yeah, we are left here, Equa Privy. So basically Equa Privy is separated from the previous all techniques because in Equa Privy, it is in contact with water, but the previously mentioned techniques are, you can consider as a categorized under dry latrines where there is no use of water. Okay, but in case of Equa Privy, there is a approach of water uh, contact. So basically, Equa Privy consists of three interconnected under, uh, underground chamber. Okay, so here you can see there is a chamber. One, two, three chambers are there. Basically, this is as well as a line diagram for schematic diagram of Equa Privy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so three chambers are required here. So one is your anab an anaerobic digestion chamber. Anaerobic means without oxygen, it is digestion can be done. Okay. Then aerobic digestion. Aerobic means the... Decomposition of the waste can be done with the help in the presence of air. Okay. Or you could say clar uh, clarifying the chamber. And the next one is your filter chamber. Okay. So let's discuss about that. So you can see this is our anaerobic, anaerobic digestion chamber. This is Arabic, aerobic uh, digestion chamber. And it is your filter chamber. Fine. So the anaerobic and aerobic digestion chambers are of equal size and are filled with water while the filter chamber is of small size, smaller size as and it's filled with brick bats or clinker to act as a filter media. So just like the filtering process we have discussed in purifying water. So similarly, we also filled some conker, you can say, or you can say uh, what we have filled up. Uh, filled up with brick bats can be used bricks or clinker like a small stones can be used can be filled up in the filtering chamber which act as a filtering uh, mechanism okay so this is your <coughs> first chamber second chamber third chamber this is your this is this chamber is for anaerobic digestion or decomposition anaerobic decomposition and this is your arabic decomposition and this one for filter okay The squatting pan is placed on the top of the anaerobic digestion chamber and its, its discharge pipe is taken about 10 cm below the water level in the anaerobic digestion chamber to provide water seal. So here you can see this pipe. This is there is a slab where a particular person can be seated here. This is called squatting pan, which is uh, fixed just below the anaerobic digestion chamber. Okay, just below the digestion chamber, and the pipe is extended up to 10 cm. Fine. The extended up to 10 cm because since this it is filled up with water then water will not go outside to resist the overflow fine right? the squatting pan is placed on the top of the anaerobic digestion chamber and its pictures pipe is taken about 10 cm below the water level in an anaerobic digestion chamber to provide water seal because to resist the water uh, to penetrate into the uh, upward direction it is penetrated into the ground okay yeah so basically to prevent the water to outer uh, upward flow to prevent out of uh, upward flow this pipe the out pipe outlet pipe is extended up to 10 centimeter below the water level below this level okay in that anaerobic digestion chamber to provide water seal fine the faces or i can say the waste matter the urine or that waste water fall directly into the anaerobic digestion chamber anaerobic digestion chamber and is decomposed by the action of anaerobic bacteria anaerobic bacteria means the particular bacteria which is uh, which, which act in decomposing the decomposition the waste without the help of oxygen okay so it is basically anaerobic, anaerobic digestion. Okay. That I'll, okay. I'll show you one difference between anaerobic and aerobic digestion. Let me check. Let me check the spreading also. Wait.
That we'll see. Anaerobic digestion means what? I think these things are already have got in fifth semester in environmental engineering. So anaerobic digestion is a process through which a bacteria breaks down organic matter such as uh, animal manure or animal waste, wastewater, bio solids or waste food in the absence of oxygen. Okay. So in the absence of oxygen or without the oxygen, whatever the whatever the digestion is going on of the waste, it's called anaerobic digestion. Okay, in case of an aerobic, when it comes to aerobic digestion, it is done with the help of oxygen. Anaerobic digestion is basically without the help of oxygen. Okay, so some bacteria may present in the waste, which is, can be used to digest the waste without the help of oxygen, basically. Okay. So the face uh, faces the waste urine or the wastewater will directly fall directly into the anaerobic digestion chamber and is decomposed by the action of anaerobic bacteria. Okay, that means the bacteria which digest the waste without the help of oxygen, they actually categorize under anaerobic bacteria. The gases produced during the decomposition escape through the vent pipe provided in the anaerobic digestion chamber. So here you can see a vent pipe is also pro provided here in the anaerobic digestion chamber. So due to the decomposition of the waste by the bacteria, some other gases may evolve so that particular gas can be expelled out with the help of this fan pipe. Okay. Uh, the gases produced during the decomposition of decomposition escape for a vent pipe provided in the aerobic digestion chamber. In the aerobic digestion chamber, further decomposition takes place by the action of aerobic bacteria. Now, after digestion of the waste by the anaerobic bacteria, with the help of with the without the help of oxygen, or you can say in the absence of oxygen, so the next level is aerobic digestion of the waste, and which is done by the bacteria. Uh, the main the, the main work of the particular bacteria is to decompose the waste with the help of oxygen. Okay, that's why they are categorized under aerobic bacteria. Okay, in aerobic digestion chamber, further decomposition takes place by the air action of aerobic bacteria. That means in the presence of oxygen, or you can say with the help of oxygen. The digestion sludge gets settled in both anaerobic and aerobic digestion chamber, which may be cleared once in two years. That means here at the bottom, the waste which get digested, they may be settled down, and that particular waste can be taken out in a year. Okay, sometimes the maintenance work must be carried down in aqua previ. Okay, so digestion. The digested sludge gets settled in both anaerobic and aerobic digestion chamber, which may be cleared once in a two years. Okay, once in a two year. That means in a two years, uh, every, for, uh, every even after every two years, the waste, the digestion sludge, that is the waste basically, waste can be taken out of the chamber. Okay. The effluent from the aerobic digestion chamber flows to the filtering filter chamber that means the waste the liquid waste which come as a result from this digestion chamber the, they enter the third chamber which is the filter chamber basically okay the effluent that is the basically the effluent coming from this chamber basically from the aerobic chamber flows to the filter chamber through a pipe whose outlet is taken down up to the somewhat near the bottom of the filter chamber okay that means the pipe is so deep the pipe is particular a pipe is connected up to this level okay so the finally the influence the waste water is directly come go to the bottom of the filter chamber finally okay that means the particular influence is flows to the filter chamber 
microwave pipe whose outlet is taken down to somehow near the bottom of the filter chamber. Now you can see that the pipe is so uh, nearby the bottom, right? As the influent rise in the filter chamber, it gets purified. That means this pipe is the outlet pipe is up to this near 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 the bottom of the filter chamber, and this influent coming from this aerobic chamber is goes down. Then again, it's go up. It's try to go up the uh, upward direction, and it's go through this clinker, the particular the components which are filled by this filter chamber. So when this water come go upward in upward direction, it got filtered. Okay. Where where where? Yeah. As the influent as the effluent rises to the filter chamber, it gets purified. And the purified effluent from the filter chamber is led out through the effluent channel and may be used for gardening or fanning. That means after that the water can be cleaned and that particular that water can be used other purposes like gardening or other work. Okay. So in that way you can also go for use of the particular water. Inside. Okay. Who is that? Ronald 57. Please mute yourself. So anyway, this is all the basic mechanism of uh, Equipreby. Okay. That means in the Equipreby, the waste, the you can say night soil is directly contact in water. Okay. So it's mixed with water and the bacteria present in the waste and the water that get digested the waste can be digested, digested by anaerobic bacteria in the anaerobic chamber and the waste can also be digested or decomposed by the aerobic bacteria in aerobic digestion chamber after that the waste go to this third chamber that is filter chamber okay and the, the influent that means the the out out waste the waste coming from the aerobic chamber is directly uh, allowed to go to the bottom of that <coughs> filter chamber through this long pipe and this influent is allowed to move in the vertical direction and due course of uh, movement this particular waste water get filtered because of the presence of uh, like brick bed or clinker which is filled in the filtering chamber for a filtration of the water and finally the output effluent will come as a water which can be usable okay it can be usable for other purposes i'm not talking about drinking purposes it can be usable for other work like gardening washing car all these things okay washing purposes basically so this is all about your aqua uh, preview okay to compensate for evaporation and leakage losses and to maintain the water seal that is the submergence of discharge uh, pipe of the squatting pan in the water water is to be added every time after its use that means to maintain the water level the water can be used through this even through this uh, squatting pan okay time to time to maintain the water okay because water may loss due to evaporation because it's open okay it's open uh because it's open to atmosphere so water may be evaporated okay or maybe there is a leakage in the chamber maybe so to maintain the water we have to go for refilling the water in time to time for this squatting band okay so yeah so absence of effective water seal may result in false smell mosquito and fly breeding and visibility of floating excreta through a pipe and splashing of water etc in addition the ex excreta may stick to the pipe or thus increase breeding of flies and mosquito in view of this region aqua preview are not commonly adopted so finally you can say there are some disadvantages of aqua preview also because it is since it is open to atmosphere it's open to atmosphere so there is a possibility of uh, water leakage okay or the more preferably 
there is a maybe a chance of uh, uh, generation of that mosquito fly breeze okay all these things all the odor smell may also come because of this open open valve okay so preferably it is not uh, adopted okay so next we can go also go for chemical toilet okay so in the chemical toilet the concrete vault is replaced by a acid proof metal tank so i think you have already uh, learned about concrete vault right this is the concrete vault right so in chemical toilet the concrete vault is replaced by an acid proof metal tank okay the tank is generally of 600 liter capacity and is 10 kg of plastic soda dissolved in 40 to 60 liters of water is replaced or is placed sorry the caustic soda helps to stabilize the organic matter present in the excreta that means uh, first of all that concrete vault is replaced by in chemical uh, toilet basically the concrete vault is uh, replaced by acid proof metal tank Bec uh, why it is made of acid proof because we have to mix some chemicals like a uh, caustic soda okay it's, it is mixed with water and filled up there because it's a, due to the chemical reaction with the waste along with the chemical soda it usable it's very effective for decomposition of the waste okay that's why a uh, caustic soda like 10 kg of caustic soda it dissolved in 40 to 60 liters of water this mixed solution is placed in the particular chamber okay and to line that to prevent the uh, connection between the outer or other atmosphere a acid proof metal tank is provided this is i'm talking about this this is not made of concrete it is made of acid proof okay because we are adding chemical mixed water in this particular chamber which can be used for digestion digesting the waste okay the night soil is liquefied and ster uh, sterilized in the tank and pathogens are also destroyed the spent chemical and accumulation of liquids and solids are removed periodically and drain out in a cesspool. Okay, there is no other problem in this case. However, the cost of this toilet is more; hence, these are not commonly used in rural areas. This type of, of this type of toilets are usually used in aircraft. Okay, so here you can see, so chemical toilets are basically used in aircraft. So, so basically, these waste are decomposed. I can say it sterilized by use of some chemicals like aquastic soda. Okay, that is how is the what is the ratio of mixing the aquastic soda with water? Like 10 kg of aquastic soda can be dissolved in uh, 40 to 60 liters of water. Okay, it's kind of mixing ratio of the aquastic soda, and this waste uh, or human excreta is mixed with that uh, chemical mixed water, and from this reaction, chemical reaction the <coughs> pathogens that is the harmful bacteria can be destroyed even there is no generation of bad odor okay so but the this advantage is that it is little bit of costly so it can be used it cannot be used in rural areas but it is very suitable for aircraft basically okay yeah so next is your your poor flush water seal latrine okay pore flush so in the in a pore flush latrine as a name indicate the excreta is hand flushed by pouring about 1.5 to 2 liters water so usually we go for pore flush latrine in every household we have a flush connected uh, latrine right so manually we have to go for flushing water okay that's why it's called pore flush water seal latrine so in the pore flush latrine as the name indicated, the excreta is hand flushed by pouring about 1.5 to 2 liters of water as shown in figure. So this kind of pore flush latrine you can go for, okay? This is basically a section view. This is a plan view, okay? Wait a second, let me drink some water. Okay. So in this diagram, a pore flush, a pore flush latrine consists of a squatting pan 
with a trap, which discharged the excreta into the leaching pit located slightly away from the pan. So there is a leaching pit is separately constructed here, but the main disposal point is here. Okay, here the person can uh, uh, here the human excreta can be uh, you know extracted from here. Fine, this is a squatting pan basically. For fine, and it is collected and through this pipe, it will collect it, collect it in this leaching pit. Okay, leaching pit. Basically, it's a pit which is basically constructed separately. So, as shown in figure, a pore flush latrine consists of a squatting pan. This is a squatting pan actually, where foot rest basically. Yeah, with a trap which discharge the excreta into the leaching pit located slightly away from this pan. Okay. Usually two leaching pit are provided, but at a time squatting pan is connected to only one. That means this you can see this uh, top view. This is the uh, this is your squatting pan. This is your foot foot stand. Okay. And here uh, the human excreta is from this common chamber. It is connected to this two leaching pit. Fine. Two pit is connected with this one common uh, disposal point. Fine, but at the at for a some for a particular time it is connected, or a flow of the waste can be is through this uh, one pit. Okay, one leaching pit. After fill up this pit, it is connected to this pit basically. Okay, not like the at the same time, it is not connected together uh, one by one basically. Clear. Yeah, where am I? So usually two leaching pits are provided, but at a time squatting pen is connected to only one pit. Okay. So the leaching pit are provided with a lining of brick work. So here you can see okay, even in the cross-sectional view also you can see this brick kind of structure right so the circumference of this pit are constructed with a brickwork okay a lining of brickwork in cement mortar in the ratio of 1 is to 6 with honeycombing in alternating layer that means the basically it's the the way of constructing the bricks okay you can see that this is a brick uh, structure which is surrounding the leaching pit fine and the mortar mixed is 1 is to 6 ratio when one pit gets filled up the excreta are diverted to the second pit that means suppose first enough for, for some time being this uh, latrine is connected to this uh, pit okay when this pit is get filled up then the connection is shifted to this second pit The leaching pits are provided with a lining of brickwork in cement mortar in the ratio of 1 is to 6 with honeycombing in alternating layer. So here you can see the alternating layer is provided, big shape. The lining up pit may be, or when one pit gets filled up, the excreta are diverted into the second pit. Fine. The filled up pit may be emptied after one or two years when the excreta gets completely digested and most of the pathogens died died off okay the digested excreta may be used as a manure that means can be used as a fertilizer thus the two pits can be used alternatively and perpen uh, perpetually okay that means by providing two pit what you can do we can minimize or it can this particular setup can be used and every time even at the time of maintenance that is when the first pit is get filled up with waste. Wait a second. When this uh, gets filled up with waste, we can go for uh, using the second pit. At the same time, the maintenance or removal of waste can be going on in the first pit. Okay. So like this, we can go for using the pit in 
every time even the time of the maintenance of that okay so that's why you can say this two pitch can be used alternatively okay okay wait a second okay i have to connect my charger to the connection okay just wait for some time okay so this is all about today class i don't want to discuss more than this fine it's already 12 5 so yeah up to this class we have discussed about different type of uh, techniques that can be used in rural areas for night soil management okay so some are categorized under dry preview and some are kind of categorized under wet preview fine so what is the what is the best example for wet preview is your aqua preview right so the basic mechanism of aqua preview we have already discussed okay chemical preview also we can be done can be can be used not in the rural areas but can be used in the aircraft how it's work we already discussed the basic mechanism fine regarding good preview all these things we'll discuss in next class fine so yeah, so this is all about today class. With this, I just want to close my sharing. So you better go by yourself also by uh, learning about different type of preview that can be used in rural areas, fine. So any doubt till now? And if you don't have any doubt, then I'll just take your evidence. Okay, wait. Okay, so if you don't have any doubt, so I'll take your attendance. So along with this, I just want to close my recording also. After that, I'll take your attendance. Clear? Okay, please switch on our video if possible. Please respond to our call.